The game dev community is super friendly. Everyone is like, hey, cool game you made, sweet, nice idea, even though a lot of these games obviously suck. So today, it's my pleasure and my duty to change this. I asked you to send me your games so I can roast them. If you don't know what roasting is, it means to humorously mock or humiliate someone with a well-timed joke. And I got more submissions than I would have expected. So I couldn't roast everyone, but randomly selected the game. But don't worry, if your game wasn't chosen, that doesn't mean it's not bad. You just were unlucky. Or lucky. I don't know. Let's begin. The game we will roast today is Off the Heads by Zyrus. As you can expect by the creative name, it's just a ripper from Denny's office. He's a daddy fanboy. This game was made for Denny's Basement Jam. If you never heard of this, it's like a secret society of hardcore milk drinking Denny fans meeting annually to make awful games. You haven't missed anything. The game is um, a text adventure, I guess? Oh, no, never mind. It's a platformer slash shooter. Dude, why is there so much freaking text? It's like the privacy statement you have to accept before installing your printed software. No one will ever read this. But looking at your text, I really wonder how you decided which words to capitalize and which not. All right, guys, our next word is that. How shall we write that? Spin the wheel. Let the dice decide. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ask the king. I demand trial by combat. That is the only way to write that. No, that is my destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is what we are going to do. Let's get to the game. The background looked like it's copied from Windows XP. And the other textures... Okay, listen. I have no idea why people do this. Online, there are millions of great and free tile maps you could use for your games. But Zyrex decided that he prefers to make his own. The only reason why you would do this is that you are very artistic or you want to give your game a super unique look. So, with the creative freedom of creating any world imaginable, what did Zyrex do? What did he do? He just copied Minecraft textures, made them even worse and thus created a bad generic 2D Minecraft look. Genius. By the way, in the first level, the clouds in the background are moving. I know, I know, it's uh, hard to see since most of the screen is covered with this highly contrasted white text, but he made the level feel at least somewhat alive. But adding the cloud moving script to the other level seemed to be too much to ask for. And the rest of the game looks as dead as I feel inside since my ex done me. That's very dead. The game is very simple. You run through the levels, shoot bananas and collect heads. Heads stack on each other until they disappear. How is it even possible to create a bug where the heads disappear? The one thing that makes your game unique are the heads. And you weren't even able to make them visible all the time? That's like a Pokemon game without Pokemon. And I don't even want to talk about how weird it looks when there is a wall above you. By the way, there are also some coins to collect that... Uh, um, yeah, you, you, you get a score that's not even shown once you finish the game. What are those coins for? Guys, we have only time for one more feature. What should we add to improve the game? Your ideas. Cool enemies. Better graphics. Some nice levels. Add coins. Coins! Brilliant idea, but uh, there's nothing to buy in the game, so what are the coins for? Add a score! Score? Awesome! Shall we add a leaderboard or shall we reward the player when getting a high score and maybe even increase his power? No! Okay, so what is the score for? Nothing! You're a genius! Nice! Great idea! Let's look at the controls. The jumping is just awful. The character is falling down like the air is jelly. 
This would be fine if the game would take place on the moon, otherwise fix your gravity. Or add a parachute to the player, that would be fine as well. Please, just learn how to make platformer controls. Did you even play your own game? And if so, did you really think that this is good? Xyrex, have you ever played a platformer? Since you are a Danny fanboy, you probably played fair and square. It's very similar to your game. You jump and shoot, but jumping is actually fun in Danny's game. What was your thought process? Hey, I gonna make a similar game. But I turned down the gravity so people won't have fun jumping around. <laughs> You're the kind of guy that sits next to the nerd in the math test and during the test you copy all of his answers. So theoretically you could get an A plus without any effort. But then you decide to add a 1 to every result to be unique and special. Big brain. <laughs> As enemies, we have triangles that smoke too much weed. And once they stand at the cliffs, they... Uh, yeah, let's just pretend that doesn't happen. We also have some bats and the dumbest toast I've ever seen. Have you even tried to make them dangerous? And something went horribly wrong when you animated them. How is this in the final game? Have you looked at your animations? Oh, hmm, yeah, when he's walking, the top of the toast disappears. I could spend two minutes to fix this. No. Lol, Raffael, YOLO, Acti Toast Animation goes brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr